Hey guys, good morning. We figured we'd do a quick video here for a rundown of the dailies for the scrapping system. It's a neat system, really unique. I like it a lot. Brought a lot of utility to some of the tank classes that were uh, lacking some versatility, like the Necro and having a magical pool helps with sustain a ton on the Necro. So your dailies work. This is the Fighters Guild daily. You got a Mages Guild daily. You got your daily Undaunted Delve. And then we chose to do the dailies in Skyrim for the world event, world boss. Straightforward, basic dailies, quick, easy. So day six, I think, I should be done completely with the scribing system and have all the achievements for all the scripts. So not real bad. Once you do your daily, you're guaranteed to drop out of your first coffee for the day. And after that, it's a 25% chance. So as long as you open your coffers as you go and use your scripts as you go, I have not gotten a duplicate yet until I finished my entire book for the scripts. So here we pulled up the Western Skyrim and get the dailies. The whole system's really straightforward. Takes about, once you get the run down and if you've got a group and you can go through them pretty quick and you got most of the waste runs, it takes about 30 minutes to do the whole round we do this morning. So the first one we went to here is a hair storm. If you see the red up in the sky, that's how you can find the hair storms that are active if you don't have them on your map to show you. Um, if you've never done the hair storms before because it was a Skyrim thing and it's been a few years since they come out, the red trees are the objective. You kill the red trees and then the boxes, boss comes up. It doesn't... Uh, Better take two got awful long, but I'll let the whole hair storm play here just for the ones that's never seen one. So that's the red tree that I just pierced on on and debuffed. The more DPS you have, the faster this does go. Straightforward mechanics to fall. I just kind of hold them over to the side and let them die and cleave. Nothing to them really. The one, this guy here has a conal breath attack he does. The big wolf. but not much to them. Nothing hits too awful hard. I don't, I've never personally tried to solo one. Um, they don't look like they would be that easy to do. This is the final boss of the uh, Hero Storm, so he, uh, that's about it. All of his mechanics there, they ain't much to him. Like I said, it's straightforward and easy. As long as you have a group, which the whole system seems to be as well as much of ESO as group play. So grab a few guildies. Share your way shrine so that'll make the whole thing go a lot quicker too. So the next one we're going to here is the world boss. Easy, straightforward. All of them pretty much are to me. So just depending on how long you've been playing the game and how much you've gotten into it, they ain't none of it really very hard. Terrorstorm's probably the hardest thing in all of it besides the PvP dailies which I don't PvP a lot, so. In fact, I don't think I did any of the PvP dailies to get any of my scripts. Cut out a bunch of it just for time's sake, so y'all ain't sitting here listening to me be silent and bored. Yeah, so you can see there's another hair storm active right there. 
that had just popped up. This is a really easy one. And they come from killing the spriggans in here. Here we'll pour it back, turn them in. I like the Skyrim dailies too, just because they're that close to the waistline, really easy for to get to. As you can see, I open a coffer, learn it. That way I don't end up with a bunch of duplicates and I get through it as fast as I can because as you learn them, they're supposed to rotate weekly in the vendors is my understanding of it. So once you learn one-on-one -on -one character, it becomes cheaper in the vendor to buy them, which we have confirmed that that is a huge cost reduction. They're reduced a little over two-thirds I think the ones in Infinite Archive went from 15k archival fortunes to uh, 4k. So huge cost savings just by doing it and learning them all on one character. Here you can see I didn't make it to the Dolmen while it was still active, but I did get Quest, another advantage of doing it in a group, because Wifey had actually beat me there and uh, got a hit in the Dolmen. Got lucky on this one too, the boss was already dead. And into the last omen. Now you do get these from killing the ads too, as you'll see here in a second. So when I started this grind, I did it on uh, my necro tank. I don't play them a whole lot, my DK is my main, but I really wanted the uh, magical pull for the sustain, and uh, it's really nice, I enjoy it a lot, it uh, seems to have made my necro a lot easier to play, and a lot of sustain issues were solved by not having a high cost stand pull. Back to Grotwood to turn them in. to the Fighter's Guild, next to be the Mage's Guild. And then over to the Undona. The whole round takes around 30 minutes with two of us to complete once we got it down and got a lot of the waste run, so it is a god awful grind every day to get it done. Man, 
I should finish it up tomorrow, the sun, Sunday after uh, the drop, which I didn't get to play any Monday, so, or very much Monday, I did get to play a little bit. As you can see, I go through here and use them. Now, I've already got all my focus scripts, so I am starting to get duplicates here, which you can put in your bank and pass to other characters. But as you see, go through, learn them as you open your coffers and your merits. And there's the achievements. See, I have two left on that one, and the other two is completed today. So I hope this helps you all out, and uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe.